Today, we look at creating Blitz Report pivot tables. Pivot tables are very powerful because not only can you have data summarized at the level you wish, you can filter it and you can drill down to details. So Blitz Report lives inside the EBS Forms menu. We double click it and it opens the small user screen. The user screen will default to the last report that this user has executed. And this time we're going to create a template for a financial statement. So I'll look up here, I'll find one that's already created. Here's my financial statement pivot table, and we'll just edit that. You'll see over here that on the left-hand side are the pieces of information that we have not selected to include in this report. In the middle are the pieces of information we have included in this report. Information must be in the center column in order to create a pivot table. So on the right hand side, you see I've got some filters. To remove a filter, I can simply highlight it and use the right arrow key. To add a filter, I can click here and click the filter to put it into the filter screen. If I wanted sub account with details, I can put it in the filter. I can put the department with description in the filter. I can put the company with description in the filter. And then if I choose, I want to reorder these. If I want the sub account to be below the department and the company to be above the department, I can simply use my arrow key to move them around. In this column, I put the period name in the columns and on the rows, I've got the account number description, the values of the accounted amount and the sum. So moving data directly from here, I could easily have put entered amount over here as the values just by highlighting it and adding it or using these arrows to remove it. I don't have to close this template. I can simply drag it down and hit the run key. And we can watch this center button managing the concurrent process. So you can see that it's currently running. Then its output means that it has finished creating the report. It's ready to open Excel and show me that data in Excel. So now I have the ability to say, I want to see everything for a specific department. Maybe I just want to see my purchasing department. It will instantly filter my trial balance by that department. And if I need to see the details of what this car rental was, I can simply double click on it and get down to the immense amount of detail that we've selected in that center section of our template when we created the template. That's a quick view on how to create a pivot table and to get the data you need from EBS into Excel.